Hi everyone, how are you all doing? Hope you're well. I hear the weather's actually really good back home, um, but I'm just gonna kind of make you all a bit jealous because have a look at the views. I'm loving this, this is great. And I know I rarely go live on my actual profile, I usually go live on the business page, but I just thought you'd have a little look. But we're currently doing scenic cruising up the River Douro, up the Danube, sorry, in the river, up the Danube. Um, we're coming to the Vakau Valley. So we've just been sailing for about 30, 40 minutes now. Uh, I'm on the Avalon Envision, where they're spoiling us rock with amazing food and drink all the time. And uh, the protection tower Look and now let's try backdrop. to find those seven hairs why do we have seven hairs on top of the church honestly it's like completely because 360 the architect who built this all church around, he was called Zibenhaz <laughs> which means the seven hairs and then he built it in the 12th century and then you can just hear in the background now that's a cruise director Catalina she's been popping up every now and then just to give us kind of some uh, overviews just to share with us some of the amazing sites seven here so what are they kind of but where are they this side because this side's where all if the, you have a look you can see the big so tower Catalina. then you see the upper had to keep, we've had apricot uh, snaps as well from the local area yeah uh, there will be only a couple of okay, moments it's just, it's just cool. where you are Honestly. going to make up those seven terracotta figurines. They are it is on the lower roof, but it is, not like the say, lowest, everywhere in the you look. And they are best visible, Spoiled but the yeah, actually the roof yeah, yeah. is so just going. against the sky. I can see them already. It's they are just the surface is incredible. Here we are on the rooftop deck and they're bringing you food and drinks. Row, seven of them. But they are best visible when the weather Again, just to show you now that castle coming up. Uh, we are casting the church against the sky. I can see some, here's some holes, so some of you see. Oh, so I've got a ton of content, like loads of content to share. I just haven't had time. We've literally had an action packed so few days already. The beginning over the weekend, I was at the Clear River Cruise Conference, so I spent the weekend um, experiencing 10 different river cruise ships. So I got a really good overview of kind of different river cruise ships, be it from the kind of the four star side of the spectrum, right the way up to the six star luxury side of river cruising as well. And then I've been very fortunate then to be kind of hosted by Avalon for five nights from Budapest through to Dagendorf, um, where we're going up the, um, the Danube River as well, then and just getting to stuff off and really bed in and experience kind of what a Avalon have to offer, but also river cruising. Um, so it's been a fantastic couple of days. Um, but yeah, this ship is incredible. And just river cruising in general is as well. And I don't think people have this perception that it's kind of for the older generation. And obviously, you know, anyone can have a really great time. But, you know, a lot of the cruise lines like Avalon have a really good active program as well, where you can kind of rent or not rent, but they're including the price. But you can get a, a bike and just go off on a bike by yourself each morning if you wanted to um, and have a little wander around um, the different ports. That's a really cool thing to do. Um, and then you've got kind of an active trail. So this morning, actually, as I was going to say to you, this morning um, we were doing wine tasting. Um, in one of the largest uh, wine makers in uh, the Vakau Valley. So I've drunk three glasses of wine before 10 o'clock, which was pretty special. Come on board and we got to try some local apricot schnapps as well. Um, it's just been great. And then I think we're going off now to the next port. I can't remember the name of it, I think it's Ibs. Um, we're then going to have the option to go kind of um, hike up to a castle if you want to, or the one I'm trying to get on, apparently it's full, but I'm hoping somebody drops out. Um, it's kind of where you learn about local bees, uh, where you get to do kind of soap making and get to make a cake using local honey as well, and learn about kind of local bee region. But equally, if you don't want to, you don't have to get off the ship, and um, you can send the ship and just enjoy these beautiful views. I have a video kind of just showing you what our um, panoramic suite um, room is like, where literally our bed faces the window out off the ship, um, which again is incredible. Just open your windows each day and literally right at the foot of um, your bed, you've got these amazing panoramic views of kind of all the rivers that you're sailing, which As you can see, the ship's really long, so it's kind of like um, a, a, like a uh, canal boat, which is longer, bigger, and a lot more luxury. Um, but that's kind of looking up the ship. So everyone else I'm with, um, filling moves is at the top of the ship. That's where Kathleen is our cruise director. But I just pop back to our room to get my power pack because I've taken so many photos and videos. Um, my battery's gone flat. And then this is the back of the ship then as well, where we've just come from. Anyway, just thought I'd share with you all guys, just rubbing in a little bit, then I'm having a really nice time. <laughs> um, hope everyone's well, love you lots, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye!